Sweet. Thank you, Booker. Cool. Um, welcome, everyone, to the JSIPFS weekly dev sync update of May 7, 2018. Um, before we jump, do we have any person that would like to volunteer to become the note taker? Remember, the note taker here is mostly to take notes of the questions, not the updates, because those have been written down. Any volunteers? Let's see it. Just one. Just... All right, Jacob, thank you so much uh, for saving us with notes. Uh, cool. So, as usual, let's do the round of updates and then use the time that we have left um, to talk about things, questions, updates on state of the project, etc. cetera. Uh, VMX, you want to go first as we follow through the list? Yes. So, um... Last week, I spent most time on the IPLD format spec. Um, it sh so the plan was to get given an update, and it finally is. So this was kind of a PR from August last year, and finally everything's in there, I think. And now it's time to implement all the stuff. So as always, uh, so I've opened issues for it um, on this repository, which is linked there. And if you want to click an issue, feel free. Then I did a lot of administrative stuff and I did a bit of the graph sync stuff I'm supposed to do. And I will, I'm not blocked and next week I will do the graph sync stuff, basically this week. And I will also be in Lisbon from Wednesday to Friday. Got it, so I'll have time this week. Um, any any questions on graph sync? Is, like, is there a spec? Is there like a thing that people can review or? No, no, it's just like getting it somehow works, something somehow works. <laughs> okay, so very, uh, in the beginning. Yeah, in the beginning. Cool, cool. All right, so yeah, I see you're not blocked in anything. Yeah. Um, sounds good. Like if you have a, like an issue or a PR on things that you are working about GraphSync and you want like to leave it here so that people can check in, I know a lot of people are excited about that and uh, looking forward to that. So they might want to give you feedback. Yeah. Okay. Cool, any questions for Volker? All right, uh, Zane, wanna go ahead? Wait, Zane's not here. I, um, I, I, will, do the, a bit. I, will, I will do the same thing because um, a quick update, so he won't have time for the next few weeks or ever for this meeting, but he told me that he will uh, still work on the IPLD stuff. Like last week, he's worked on making the pull screens work and he will continue the work and he will keep on posting his status on the document, but he can't attend. Um, yeah, that's basically okay. the update from him. All right, all right, cool. Thank you, thank you for relaying. Um, any questions, I guess, like, well, Zane is not here. So if you have any questions, you can send an email or open an issue on Zane's work. Um, and he's also on IRC, just, yeah. Cool, yes, you go? Oh, sorry, you go finish up. Okay. Okay, Diego, I think it's your Yeah, hi. Uh, so last week I, I finished <laughs> finished separating the file exchange example, the UI UX, mainly front end stuff. I think it's looking good. If I have the time, uh, I still want to to change a thing or two, but it's it's minor things, just uh, UI UCD. <laughs> So uh, I start. Yeah. Yeah, I was just going to ask if there is a PR. I see that you point directly to the to the um, branch. Yeah, I put the, the only the branch there. You can you can see the it has only one commit that it's the front end stuff. I, I put there the the branch because I'll when I am working the next features I'll I'll put the commits there, so you guys can track progress if you want. Okay, uh, we we used to uh, just like have working in progress pull requests, which is totally fine. Uh, it's a good way for people to give you quick feedback, like uh, before okay. you finish, especially oh, on okay. like content, like for example, the tutorial t uh, copy and so on. All right, well, I can open a PR with that, and I'll put it in WIP, and I'll continue my work there. Uh, and this week, I'll begin. I'll begin doing the pub stuff. The pub sub and file sync feature and i'm working on that i'm trying to get my head around observe and how the best way to implement the file exchange 
I'm still studying that. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. All right. Um, well, if you have any questions on that, uh, please see me or like anyone else. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll probably will. I, I think I have a direction, but I don't know if it's the right one or not. So maybe I'll I'll pick an hour with, with you. If that's cool. Okay. Yeah, and and again, like if you open the pull request, you can just like ask all of your questions there, and then mm -hmm. I can quickly answer you or even like relay to someone else. Yeah. Okay. Because I know that there are there are more people familiar with that code, those code types. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. So we any yeah. questions for Diego? That's good. Uh, it's Vasco. Vasco time. Where is Vasco? Hey guys, I'm hey. here. Um, so uh, I've been on holiday until Wednesday and the uh, week before. So uh, I left a few PRs before I left. Uh, uh, IPFS, multi address support with DNS, it was merged in meanwhile, as well as, uh, no, uh, then uh, I had also the IPFS behind proxy pull request uh, that uh, was blocked. And then uh, when I came back, there was a problem with uh, the test. So I had to create a new PR that was for the Dinman that uh, was having problems with the new version of multi-address. So I also created that pull request. And now the IPFS behind proxy is ready. You can uh, check it when you have time, David. I, I added it in the block section. And uh, the rest of the time I've been working in the in starting the my OKR regarding the service worker for browser. Uh, until now, I've been uh, uh, working on uh, a fix that uh, uh, was an issue before. That was when we refreshed the page, the service worker was not working anymore. I fixed it and uh, also have been uh, uh, trying uh, to catch the requests uh, of the IPFS files. Just uh, testing, I have to uh, decide whether to save it or not uh, according to the size, but uh, uh, I will do it afterwards. Uh, then uh, I'm also blocked in another issue that uh, I proposed a solution before I went to holiday as well. That, that's the DHT find probes and information. Uh, and for this week, I want to continue the service worker gateway and uh, try to finish that uh, two block issues as well. And uh, that's it for me. All right, sorry, I had to open the door, but I, I continue listening. Uh, super cool work, and, and I see that you are blocking two issues. Um, the... I need to review these. Like I, I don't have um, like I, I don't have an answer for right now. But I, I'll put as part of my my pal of things to to check in to make sure. Yeah, yeah. when when I think that you already reviewed uh, that was the one that I had to create a PR for the for the demon problem, and the other one uh, I described like a solution. I don't know if it's the best one, but I couldn't find any other one that. Uh, was uh, according to the Go implementation. So I don't know if it's the best or not. Okay, sounds good. Uh, and I see like these, these two issues are also on just IPFS API, which got a lot of work last week in terms of like getting the CI green and like enabling people to like have pull requests with confidence. Um, but, but yeah, like we, we should be able to unblock you this week. I'll, I'll make sure to, to, to check these, these two. Cool, cool, cool. Any questions for uh, Vasco? Uh, by the way, like getting the IPFS in the service worker means that then we can use the thing like IPFS post message proxy from Alan to also not only ping go IPFS, ping a just IPFS node in a service worker, like basically have a list of like where are the places where IPFS exists and just like check all of them one by one and like use one of those IPFS nodes. Um, yes, yes, I'm already using the that uh, module. Sweet, sweet, awesome. Cool, uh, Jacob. 
So last week we got the refactor for switch pulled in, so that should clean up that code a bit. Um, I also put together a proposal for handling the underlying connections in switch as state machines. Um, Pedro looked over that, so I think we have a good starting point to move forward with that. I'm also working on the private network. I've got the basic encryption working for that. I'm just trying to sort out an issue with uh, pull streams collecting multiple nonces. So I need to look at that and figure that out. Um, but I'll be working on that this week. I will be out Thursday and Friday. So to be sure we from me. Yeah, and then I'll also be going over IPFS repo um, since I'm the lead maintainer for that, getting a better idea of what current issues are, are there. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you for the update. So there is an issue with multiplex ca catching multiple nonces per stream. I, I didn't quite get what, what is the issue there. Not familiar with the problem. Uh, ultimately, the when the pull streams are when the streams are coming in and getting collected, we'll get two messages together. Um, and so I'll have a nonce, the encrypted message, the nonce again, and then the next message. Um, so I just need to figure out the order of pull stream there. Okay, I'm, I'm still not sure if I, I understand what is the the issue or the, um, but I, I guess like I can then check in with you and like you can point me at that code so that I, I can do my reading. Uh, <laughs> if, if you have like any questions, like let me know. Um, uh, like is there like a specific problem or or um, is, it is just more of like just plugging pull streams together? And it's just it's I think it's more of just getting the pull stream the order of operations for the pull streams working properly. But if I get stuck on that, then I'll reach out to you. Okay. Um, one of the reasons why I'm also especially curious uh, is that Ugo who. I didn't get to be here today, but like Google um, got an issue on Multiplex when, like recently, he showed me a bug where uh, like Multiplex would just like crash with process dot next tick is not a function, and and that happened after the merge the the refactor of with P2P switch. So it, it looked like something was being passed to the stream multiplexer, which was not a function, and therefore like it was trying to call it, and it was not a function, therefore crashed. Okay. Uh, I'll reproduce uh, the app error properly, so that then it can be debugged. Mm. Um, you, you're still checking, like you, you should have like, I don't know, like at least a report of what was going on tomorrow. Okay, yeah, good. Yeah, but, but cool stuff. And awesome work with the uh, LP2P switch. Like, and I feel it's less drug and friendly now. <laughs> it is more understandable. Um, any questions for Jacob? All right, all right, cool. Uh, Dimitri, go ahead. Hey guys. Um, so I was out most of last week. <clears throat> Uh, and I, I came back on Thursday. Um, I worked on getting uh, the uh, Mplex issues resolved after uh, running the um, implementation that Sibalan put together on the go side with the fixes that we discovered while um, working on, on pool Mplex. Um, I got that out, out of the way and I was able to run um, is uh, integration test, everything's uh, working now, but I did want to go an issue where I would get a, a stack workflow. Um, stack would basically blow up because it was full um, streams are recursive. You can fix that up with um, trampolines or something like that. So I had to look dig into that a little bit and, and I, I got it working as well. Uh, so stack does not blow up anymore. <laughs> so good. Um, I, I also worked on performance uh, the last uh, few days. <coughs> Trying to get the performance in uh, the pool Mplex implementation at least uh, as fast as the the stream implementation. I got that working as well. I have a very good idea of where the rest of the um, uh, improvements can come from, but I don't want to spend too much time on that anymore. I just wanted to prove that the implementation was sound. It was fast enough. Um, I didn't use too much memory, etc. 
So I got that uh, as well, and I will move forward to getting it uh, through the uh, loop to be stack and integrated with uh, IPFS memory, which is working mostly. There's a few tests failing here and there, but uh, they don't seem to be um, nothing weird. So I'll be looking into that in the next few days, and hopefully we'll have one flex. Um, also did a few uh, minor um, IPFS DCTL reviews and, and fixes. Uh, and that's it. This week will be uh, not traversal and getting in pull and plex uh, drag through the rest of the Blue uh, stack and IPFS as well. Okay. That's it. All right. Uh, so great news with Mplex. It's good to see it is rapidly developing and becoming more performant than the counter version of the pull stream wrap over readable streams um yeah like do you when do you think that we'll be ready for prime time i believe it's going to take me uh, perhaps a week to get it to get it done like uh by the end of uh this week i should have it uh ready i have all the tests everything implemented i just need to make sure that i drag it through the rest of the uh the stack and all the tests are passing that's basically where i'm at at this point all right, sounds good. Sounds good. So probably still on time for this next release. Uh, yeah, we. Can, I think we can make it. Absolutely. Yeah, that'd be great. Cool, cool, cool. All right, uh, Machi. So I uh, mostly did nothing this week, and I was not blocked by anything. Um, I tried to finish up the LibPDP UTP fix and uh, update the libpdp rendezvous module um, with the new protocol changes and maybe do something on libpdp node trust depending on whether there is going to be something that i will have to do <laughs> got it so uh by the way thank you for the presentation on the ibfs lens if everyone else didn't see that yet, like definitely recommend checking it out when the recording gets uploaded. What are your plans on leap peer to peer UDP? Um, so I was thinking through maybe changing the UTP protocol. So when it receives a fin packet, it does not uh, stop uh, the ability to still send packets. So only the incoming side gets closed. And when it sends a fin packet, it only closes the sending side and not the receiving side. So it has half opening without changing the spec too much. But I don't think that's necessary if LibPDP already has a way of um, exchanging um, the information when a connection gets closed. Um, it doesn't. Uh, the, the good news is that uh, after a conversation with Matthias, uh, Matthias Booz, it actually brought up a very good point, which is right now we are using the network stack to signal when like a protocol has finished its intent to like use that connection. So for example, when BitSwap sends um, a request, a want list, it closes the connection, ALF closes the connection to signal I'm done here. Um, and, and we, instead of like using the network stack to use that feature, we could actually list that uh, interaction to the protocol itself. So BitSwap would say, oh, I've done, I'm done here, or DHT would say, I'm done here, so that um, we don't have to rely on that underlying feature from the network stack, which is very common to be missing on UDP, so packet switch protocols. This is actually something that we've decided to change. And there is an issue open uh, on only peer-to-peer, -peer, um, just like peer-to-peer -peer that's like, um, about U UTP and then I, I bring this up as an option. Like if we decide to make this change, to lift that to the protocol that is using the connection to, to signal when it is over, uh, then for future packet switch transports, we would be already ready. So it's a thing to consider. Definitely check, check out that issue. Uh, I can also post it in the notes, I like the link so that you see the, the one I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, like, just to that, that's on your radar, Machi. Yeah, sounds good to me. Cool, any questions for Machi? All right, so eight minutes left and I'll share my update and uh, then I'll share.
another update, and then we will go into questions. So my update is, uh, well, I started working on fixing the PubSub API, like after reviewing it last week, um, it made a lot of sense to me why we have so many race conditions on JCP API tests, which what didn't make sense to me is like, why did we have the API doing synchronous asynchronous things? We, we typically, uh, like, I guess like we know pretty much like when a thing needs to be asynchronous. So like, uh, it's still like, I'm still trying to divide my brain and like past events to understand how we, how did we let that one pass through. So uh, we will uh, change the PubSub APIs to be fully async so that like it can be used through JCPFS API, JCPFS, uh, IPFS post message and so on. Uh, I did a lot of PRs to update modules with like lead maintainers, which is super exciting because now like everyone gets to be a maintainer um, and everyone has to contribute. And I, I'm sure like, this is going to be amazing for the project. I'm super excited um, about this change on how we do things. And, and on that, uh, you might recognize that there is a new face in this call, uh, which is Alan Shaw who accepted the invitation to become the captain of JSIPFS and JSIPFS API and therefore interface IPFS core. And so he will be hacking more time with us on all of JSIPFS things, which is really great. Um, thank you so much, Alan. Like, it's great to see you here. And yeah, um, I know like this is uh, the first week. I, I don't know if you are familiar with all these like, processes that we have been using. Uh, of course, like let me know if you have questions. I don't know if you want to say something. I, I watch I watch this every week, so I know I know what's going on. <laughs> oh, sweet, awesome! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's excellent. All right, cool. Um, so super pumped about that. We I also worked on getting JSIPFS CI to go green. Basically, demanded me to actually like, update a lot of uh, modules everywhere, like do bubbling up dependencies uh, all over, which takes always time because of CI. And, and I did a lot of review and merge PRs, which I hope that I will have to do less, uh, but I also hope that I did review all and, and merge the PRs from everyone that requested me. If you have a PR that is open that you haven't gotten a review, now you can ping me or ping the lead maintainer for that module. Cool, so next up, and probably Alan, uh, I would love to work on this one with you, uh, is the JSIPFS release. Like we have a checklist of things to, um, to do before releasing, and actually perhaps we should consider if we should drop some, because uh, when we set up, it was to finish some features, like for example, the pin API, but that has been taking a while, so it's better to just cut a release and then save the API for later. Well, this is just already me thinking through through it. Uh, let's do that uh, together and, and work to get the, the first uh, release uh, with you on board uh, as the lead maintainer. Cool, all right, so that's all going to be my focus. Uh, this week has, is going to be also like I'm going to be off week because in the same way as Walker, I'll be on the IPLD meeting Thursday and Friday. Uh, so just add that in mind. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, I already did my announcement in the middle of my like update. Any any questions for me? Mike? Uh, you're muted? Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, I was just wondering, are any videos going to come out of the IPLD meeting or, or notes or anything? Uh, notes, absolutely. We do take a lot of notes and we do use a lot of sticky notes uh, to to <laughs> make drawings and, and take more notes. And so we um, typically have a Google Doc where we just like write everything or take pictures and put it there. And then there's always like some work, like some curation work of people just like grabbing all of those ideas in raw and really converting them into action items for the projects to follow. Uh, that typically takes like a week or two, but because we have another meetings after that one, this time it might, might take like three to four weeks to get all of those notes, digest, notes digested. Um, for videos, if we do a talk for sure, we typically record them. Uh, we don't have any plan right now, unless I'm the second. Volker, do, do you know if there is going to be a talk? No, right? Yeah, so it should be really uh, research intensive uh, and, and notes will come after. Okay, cool. Maybe maybe I'll ping you on IRC, uh, just find out where the, the notes are gonna go. But because it would be great to just read them just for background learning. Uh, yeah, 
and I can send you the the planning doc already. And awesome. one points to them to the notes document that will exist. Okay, we should probably do that on the IRC IRC channel. Yeah, that's it. Cool. All right. Any other questions? Uh, okay, let's go to this. Oh, go ahead. Um, or is this already the question section, or is this still uh, what have you done last week? Because I got confused by the edit note at the bottom. Um, it is still the questions on my things. Ah, okay. <laughs> Just you, got can totally confused. <laughs> you, you can add your question to the like lines, uh, like 123 to line 127 on the pen. So cool. Let's go to the sections, the questions section, which is, the first one is from Volker. Is anyone good with NPM pre-release tags? Go ahead. David, I think you have an outdated hack pad, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. Just uh, because like there are more people on the list and your items also on aren't on the list. So <laughs> uh, interesting. Let me like I can paste you the link to the current one. Or like like to figure it out, I go on with <gasps> the stuff. So um so the next one is Scar with the update. That is correct. And okay, I'm so sorry. I, apparently my update is not here. I copy pasted it to a non not synced version. Uh, Gar, wanna go ahead? Sure. Uh, I finally figured out one of the hairiest race conditions I've ever debugged in my life last week on the IP, uh, the bit swap on want. Um, and I think I've got those PRs ready now with the appropriate tests moved and the appropriate ones left. Um, I'm focusing for the next day or two on another project and then coming back to this and just continuing on that uh, implementation status, uh, sticking in the, in the bit swap area. So that's my update. Sweet. Uh, the other project is related with the peer platform stuff? Yeah, the, um, it's the um, identity service. Uh, uh, now that we've signed up on a sign up flow, I'm implementing that. There's just a matter of doing it. There's not a lot there. Got it. Got it. Cool. Um, yeah. Thanks for sharing the update. Any questions for Gar? And I guess when you say he blocked, you you mean like there is a review that needs to happen? Like it, it is not like necessarily that the work is blocked. Yeah, I, I I I interpret blocked as I'm done and it's now waiting on just anyone else to do something. Got it. Makes sense. Um, all right, I'll add this to my list to check. Also, Alan can help me checking this as well. Um, cool. So, Pedro. Hey, uh, not much. Last week, um, so I took maintain a role for some packages, PRD, PRA from Peerbook, um, some discussions around uh, connection manager, and yeah, some small reviews, and that's. It's mainly it regarding JSIPFS. Got it. Cool. Thank you. Um, any questions for Pedro? Cool. By the way, just like uh, uh, an ask, if you all don't mind, I'd like to steal more of like five more minutes from you, because I totally thought that we were done with updates, and so I talked too much because I thought we had like eight minutes left and apparently it was not the case. <laughs> if I may still like total five minutes, I, I really appreciate it. Alan, share with us your update. Yeah, sure. Uh, so, hey, I was working on um, IPLD, like building like an IPLD explorer because uh, in the web browsers working group, we, uh, are looking to kind of re revamp the web UI. And so that includes a kind of IPLV explorer. Um, and so as part of that, um, I just built this kind of terminal IPLD explorer app to sort of explore the idea of what an explorer might look like. Um, but, you know, kind of based on comments that uh, were there a long time ago from like David and Juan. Um, so I kind of got to this stage where I wanted to use it against JS IPFS because it was working against Go IPFS and I wanted to see all of my stuff in JS IPFS, but then I realized it didn't work because 
JSIPFS API used something that Go has that JSIPFS doesn't have, which is uh, DAG Resolve. Uh, so I kind of looked into that and then I, look, I saw that there was an issue about using IPLD in the DAG API, um, which would be rad because at the moment I think it's hard coded to uh, like deal with like DA, um, uh, CBOR nodes and uh, protobuf DAG nodes only. Uh, so using IPLD would be rad because that means that you could resolve all of the stuff that's already in IPLD already uh, and plug in other stuff. So I started working on that. Uh, and yeah, I was a little bit blocked in that I didn't really know if I should be or the current version should be using DAG Resolve or not. You know, like if JS IPFS should have that, but David Diaz came to the rescue and, uh, and said that, that JS IPFS shouldn't really have that, uh, which it doesn't and nor should go. So what I'm doing is okay and I'm, I'm fine. I just need to finish it off basically. But what it will mean will, will be that uh, JS IPFS will now have a DAG get API that uses IPLD uh, and can resolve through uh, like all sorts of uh, DAG nodes, uh, not just protobuf DAG nodes and Seawall DAG nodes. Um, and that's my update. <laughs> that's a lot. Thank you. And and I guess like um, a big learning point here is uh, and. Uh, topic for discussion during the IPLD meeting, meeting Volker, is that we need to get a concrete API for what IPLD can do or what the DAG API can do. And right now, both Go and JS implement different versions, although there is a lot of comments. There is a lot of thinking about what needs to happen and what are the constraints. And so if you check Alan's PR on JSFPS API, I do point to those issues, to those comments from the past. And, and let's make sure to have a, a session where we can just like nail that down. Alan? Yeah, sorry, I forgot to add um, that there is like some inconsistency with the way that I go IPFS resolves nodes and JS IPFS, or sorry, not JS IPFS, IPL, JS IPLD resolves like uh, resolves data in paths. And I had a really good conversation with Volker about that. Uh, and we had, like we figured out a way forwards. Uh, and so that was super useful. So um, just to say thanks, thank you very much. <laughs> Okay, cool. So there is more than I don't know yet. That's, that's excellent. Uh, I'll, I'll read notes if there are any, um, and I play it myself. Any any questions for Alan? All right, I don't see more uh, hands. Let's go to the questions section. Um, let's try to to make it short so that we don't steal too much time. Uh, Volker. Over. Uh, yeah, so I have a question. If anyone has an experience with publishing in uh, the pre-release tags to NPM, uh, because so it's related to the flow typing work we do, and so um, um, Victor told me I should publish Azure as proper package, but I don't want to create a fork of it. So he said I could use the pre-release uh, tags for it. It should work, but I'm a bit concerned. So if anyone has experience with it, um, please ping me and then I will uh, talk a bit more about it. But if, any, if no one has, uh, has any experience, then I will just try it out and we'll see. So it looks like no one has, so okay, I will figure it out. Thank you. <laughs> um, I, I, are you talking about like just dash dev? Um, dash dev or dash rc release versions in in npm no so you can put any any tag you want so the tag would be flow probably so it will be a ager 0. i don't know like 13 dash um flow point 1 release or something anyway i will figure it out <laughs> Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm not sure exactly what you need. Uh, we we haven't used any of those special features yet on NPM. Um, but if, if you open an issue and I post it here, and we can follow up on there instead of like just being by yourself. Cool. Um, so I have added one question, but it got deleted. Also, when I refreshed my my thing. Um, 
uh, let's just go through the other two questions and then I'll ask mine. Actually, can I be the lead maintainer? Uh, so like the following questions are about maintaining modules. Um, my answer there is check the, the lead maintainer, um, like the JavaScript code guidelines and, and let's check in async about what that means and what are the responsibilities and, and, and just like see if, if it's a, a, good, a good thing for, for both for the people willing to maintain the module time-wise and, and for what is expected to, from the lead maintainer. And so this should answer, answer Machi and Dimitri. Is it cool? Okay. Yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah. You. Uh, so my question is, uh, which I'll well, I'll type it after, is looking uh, on all the work that people have been doing, uh, and the key results that was set up on the beginning of the quarter. How do people feel in terms of, like trajectory? What are we like close to the trajectory that we have defined? Are we really far? Are we completely orthogonal? Um, how do people feel right now? Like if someone asked, like, are we going to to like be able to go back and arrive at the point P that we define? Would you say with a confident yes, or would you say, oh no, because I'm now so busy with other things? Like raise your hand <laughs> if you want to share comments. Is that a okay? I see some people saying, is this like a computer orthogonal or is like a we are like thirty no, percent? It's like it's like maybe maybe we can do it. <laughs> yeah, actually, it's good. Like, just like to do the signal. If you feel like you're like tasted this, if you feel like you're close, like do this. Like, remember, like you just have so much mileage. So if you are going in this direction, you are probably not going to go there because you're like you're going to run out of gas, which is time <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> so, so like, the sooner we we course <laughs> course adjust, the closer we get. We might not get there at, at all anymore. Um, so, so do you guys want to do the signal? Like that's, that will be helpful for me. <laughs> oh my God, Vasco is completely like, going away. Poker is like very close. <laughs> All right, uh, Jacob, I, I, I don't know if you were doing a hand signs. Okay, oh, Jacob is just like right on, right on, <laughs> on track. <laughs> um, how do you feel, Gar? I just saw that you turn on your video. <laughs> you, you're muted. I think you're speaking with it. You're muted. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I yeah, maybe. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, if I may, I ask you, like, spend 30 minutes this week just like to check your cares and like really think about like the, the panoply of issues that you are taking on, like the responsibilities. And, and do um, a prioritization exercise by yourself. Like see from the things that you have planned to the things that like you're not working on, what are exactly more important? Like we, we, do, we are not here to fulfill the desires of the spreadsheet gods. Like the idea is like to really care about the project and like do what's really important for the project. But when we do the, the key results and then we put them on a spreadsheet, it's basically like a commit, like a check-in with ourselves saying, okay, this is what we feel it's more important. And so if there are other things still in your time, Definitely check if those were also on the the, the spreadsheet were those of like P zeros, P ones, P twos, P threes, and P fours. And, and then the exercise is like if they are P threes and P fours, probably they should be, be dropped in favor of the P zeros and P ones. Um, and and I leave it like this thinking at here. Let me know if you re arrive at a, a very controversial or very interesting conclusion from that uh, 30 minute exercise uh, i would be very interesting interested on knowing what you what you observe or thoughts that you have on that does this make sense to everyone i'm not sure if i explained correctly some days words are hard okay cool i see some <laughs> so, <laughs> i see some thumbs up thank you awesome Cool. All right. So this is the end. Uh, I apologize for taking too much time. I'll make sure that my clip tab is on sync next time. The, uh, does everyone feel that they know what to do this week? That they are like super okay. Align. 
Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, exactly. Uh, cool. Thank you so much, everyone. Enjoy the week and see you again next week, same time. Bye bye. 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 bye.